Hey guys, Fire here from In-Depth Gaming, bringing you another game review. This time we're checking out Get Over Here. This game was published by Flux Game Studio Jogus Digitius and released on November 25th, 2020 for a price of $4.99. So what is Get Over Here? It's a four player local arena game where you basically play to try to eliminate your enemies. Think of any like local arena combat style game. It features um, two kind of play modes that have two different game modes. There's tournament where you do four rounds and one person wins, or you can do quick play and kind of customize the settings to yourself. You play in either a classic mode or a soccer competitive tournament so style mode. There's 12 characters to choose from, six traps and four different rule sets. Um, in tournament mode, um, it'll kind of just give you random rule sets as you play. Um, you can pick your character from the character menu screen, play as whoever you'd like. They'll each kind of have their own little like super little special ability. Um, but the main yeah, gist of the game is yeah, you run yeah. around um, just trying to draw people in with your hook, kill them, and basically yes, make your uh, Apologies if the audio is a little overbearing with the game. There isn't really a way for us to adjust audio settings in this game whatsoever. Um, and I also want to point out that this is actually about my about a week and a half, two weeks into me trying to actually record this review. Um, I haven't been able to get the game to even want to boot up past the main menu screen, so it has been a little buggy. But the gist of the game, run around, try to get people in your little hook, kill them, um, and then from there you just keep respawning and trying not to die. Um, there can be world obstacles that are trying to kill you. Overall, it's, it's a really hard game to focus into, I feel, um, and it's very easy to lose kind of track of what you're doing. Um, I am honestly very, very horrible at the game. Um, I have struggled very hard to get going. As far as like difficulty level, you know, I think it's a pretty challenging game. Even with the AI, there's not really too many options to kind of adjust their difficulty. Um, but it's kind of just you. Um, really just trying not to die and I find it really really difficult um, regardless um, overall the game is a really easy achievement game if you want to be a local multiplayer um, you can just kind of boost all the achievements and so it's not overly difficult there um, as far as fun and skill dependent you know I think there's a lot better games out there um, especially with how hard it is to kind of follow along and I think the game is kind of entry level the rules could be a lot better um, as to what there is. Um, as you can see, like, I've only gotten one kill. Maybe it's lack of skill in the game. You know, these aren't definitely my game genre type that I play. Um, but overall, I don't think there's a lot here, even for your $4, $5, you know, even if you pick the game up on sale. Um, outside of that, you know, I don't really have too much more to say about the game. Um, I feel like the audio is a little overbearing in different areas, like, the soundtrack definitely overtakes the game. Um, you can't really follow things too well, at least from my experience. And the game's just rules and, like, explanation to new players, I think, could be a lot better. Um, yeah, as far as giving the game any type of a rating, I'm gonna give this game, honestly, about a 3 out of 10. Um, I can't really recommend it. But, you know, if you're wanting to do an achievement game, you know, it's definitely an option for people that are in that kind of market. Um, yeah, outside of that, guys, we're going to finish this round off. Um, if you have any questions about the game, as always, let us know down in the comments. If there's anything more you want to see about the game, if you want to see more gameplay, um, we'll be happy to do that. The game is entirely local multiplayer, um, so... You guys kind of generally know my opinion of local multiplayer games. I feel like we're definitely in a day and age where we should all be playing online. But, you know, each developer kind of does their own thing. Um, how they want to do that. But yeah, outside of that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I, uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys next time. Little girl.
よ行きます